Inspiration Podcast. Hello and welcome. My name is Webby. I'm a child of God, a husband and father. I spend quite a bit of my time as an artist curating content that is aimed at inspiring and encouraging you to live intentionally and purposefully. It is also my joy to welcome you to day two of the Let the Light In devotion. This devotion is drawn out of an EP that I released recently called Let the Light In. And so it basically comprises or is comprised of the scriptures and the spiritual truths that I discovered that consequently became the lyrics on the songs of this EP. You will find a link in the description of this episode to where you can go to listen to this EP. So you basically be able to choose a platform that works for you and you can go listen to the EP also so that you can get the context of what this devotion is really about. All right, so jumping right in, I read Isaiah 41.10 and realized that I needed to put it into a song to encourage myself and anyone who'd need its reassurance as I so often do. The result was the second song of the record, which is called Freedom. Here's what that scripture says. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. Oh, that's such a powerful promise to fall back on, especially in those situations when you're facing a mountain that you know you can't move with your wit. And you've probably tried to and failed. <laughs> but can you think of a time when you prayed and it felt like God was either not hearing you or like he was indeed hearing you yet choosing to stand afar off? Can you think of a time like that? Now hold on to that. We're going we're gonna to reflect today with that in the backdrop. You see, it's not unusual to feel that way when you're in trouble and it only seems to get worse despite the fact that you're praying earnestly to God. I mean, he is the one who said he will help you, right? And this moment, it feels like as if he's gone to lunch and you're all out there by yourself. In those situations, the first thing to remember is that God loves you unconditionally. The situation doesn't mean or is not an indication that he loves you less or that he forgot to love you that day. Okay? The second thing you need to know or to remember is that in this world, there will be trouble lurking around and you will in fact experience it in one form or another. In fact, Jesus said this in a scripture somewhere and I'll paraphrase this. He said, in this world, you will have many troubles, but do not be afraid for I have overcome the world. And that's a very significant thing to, 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 to take in and to hold on to. Because you see, accepting this truth allows you to then consider what your response should be when trouble does come around. Rather than focusing on the trouble and how big it is, you go back to the promise. You go back to what you've heard, to what God said. Because that's ultimately what will give you the confidence, the hope, and build your faith to be able to get you through whatever you're facing. Understand that even when God's deliverance takes longer to come than you'd like, He is still working in you to develop confidence in him that is steadfast, no matter how much trouble you're facing or for how long it lasts. Freedom isn't about having no difficulty, but about trusting the promise and being convinced of the presence of the one that's greater than every difficulty. Let me say that one more time because I want it to sink in. Freedom isn't about having no difficulty, but it's about trusting the promise and being convinced of the presence of the one that's greater than every difficulty. Now look, since you can't will yourself by your strength into this confidence and trust, God has also made his Holy Spirit available to live in and help you. In fact, 2 Corinthians 3.17 has this to say about him, and this is the bridge of the song Freedom. For the Lord is the Spirit, and wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. I love that. Because with this, you can now make and practice, in other words, live out the bold declaration that you are living in freedom, even if your outward experience suggests the opposite. Now you need to remember, remember, 
You're going to go through situations that are not going to look or feel or even sound like freedom. So freedom isn't a disposition. It's a state of mind. It's a confidence. It's a hope. It's a trust. It's an understanding that there is something much bigger, much deeper than the circumstances you find yourself in. It's beyond or below the surface. And I really hope that by understanding this, you'll begin to look at your situations differently. I believe that this is the reason why Paul said, consider it joy when you face trials of many kinds, because these are the things that help you to build endurance and they strengthen your faith. Really, it's target practice. This is an opportunity for you to begin to ask yourself where it is that you generally put your hope in or where you focus your eyes on to when you face circumstances that are unideal. Finally, let me remind you that him whom the sun sets free is free indeed, and no situation can make that any less true. I hope you found encouragement through this. If so, please consider sharing it and subscribe or follow on this channel for more. You can stream or download this record through the link in this episode's description. In the meantime, remember to be safe and be loved wherever it is that you're found. I look forward to catching you on day three. God bless. In the liberty section, I live free. In anxiety section, you won't find me.